how you doing? Uh, it's Steph again. Somewhere different th today. I am actually in Halifax. So normally I'm in Ontario. I am getting ready to do a course here. Um, well, actually, <sighs> come to Nova Scotia to do a course. But before I can actually go do the course, I have to do five days COVID isolation here in Halifax. So this is my room for the next five days of isolation. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let me just, oops. so here's the you know entranceway, nice big, big closet, bathroom. Hello. Big shower. And then into the main room, we've got microwave, fridge, desk, TV that gets no cable or anything. Uh, the Wi-Fi is not working. Chair, or corner chair, desk chair, bed, and my luggage. And we'll just take a peek out here out the window. And this is Halifax at night. So at least I have a bit of a, a decent view. Uh, the guys see the other side of the hall. They have a view of some parking lots, that's it. It was an uneventful flight from Ottawa to Halifax. And, you know, so far, we uh, before the isolation starts, a bunch of us from the course kind of got together, a little meet and greet, and we went to a local pub uh, to grab some food, uh, kind of a last supper, so to speak. Um, had some really, really awesome seafood chowder. And... Um, kind of a local thing called fried pepperoni it's brothers is a brand and it's it's really good i'm not usually a fan of pepperoni but fried brothers pepperoni if you're ever east coast halifax area you gotta try some but yeah so like i said for the next five days this is my room that's my view i'll show you again in the daylight and we'll see what I'm going to be up to. And uh, so I've been told our food is all hay boxes, individual hay boxes. If you're in the military, you know what those are. As well as box lunches. You know, so cafeteria style food and uh, like cafeteria box lunches, bag lunches. Well... <laughs> You know, I have my freeze dryer, so this whole giant Costco bag full of food and seasonings. Yes, some of it is just in plastic, but I did these just be up just before I left, so like some chili ice cream bars, um, some quinoa, this is dehydrated fruit, um, some chicken soup, like a cup of soup that I made, just more chili, rice, and veggies, cereal bars, so, I've heard more misses than hits on, uh, you know, the food in isolation type areas and whether it's out in the civilian side throughout this pandemic or, you know, the military side in, uh, you know, course situations or pre-deployments pre where we have to isolate before we go off and do what we do. 
so I thought <laughs> better safe than sorry and brought some of my own stuff. Um, anyone who knows me, like really knows me, knows I love peanut butter. I found this peanut butter in a giant squeezy tube. This thing is awesome. Like, I am, yeah, I'm a peanut butter fiend. At home, near my favorite spot on the couch, I have a little snack corner and in it is a jar of peanut butter with just a spoon. If anybody tells you you can't eat peanut butter out of the jar with a spoon, obviously not a jar you're sharing with others, you know, making the sandwiches and whatnot, but if you can't eat peanut butter out of the jar with a spoon, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. So this is just for me, so I can even... I just love peanut butter. But yeah, I got my little, my mini crock pot so that I can heat up my meals. Um, some powdered uh, coffee creamers. French vanilla coffee. And a gojo straw. So I'll make the water, the hot water. Uh, grab my mug. So when it comes time for making coffee, I'll do this tomorrow probably. Get my mug. I'll pour in the hot water. You let it steep. And then you can drink it just out. Just with the straw. With your coffee grounds and all just right in the mug. No filtering, no French press, no none of that. Just milk, or sorry, <laughs> coffee grounds, your water, you know, milk, sugar, whatever you want to add to it, and you're on the go. So a couple other little things I brought to help me get through this course. So let me see. So, like I said, we're isolating and we have some COVID tests, some masks and gloves and um, hand sanitizers. I got my new little tablet so I can watch movies because, like I said, that's not working and neither is the Wi-Fi. And I love this new little printer I got. It prints out on um, ah. it's a little thermal printer so no ink needed you get like um, receipt paper thermal receipt paper and you can print off photos photos or notes or I've got sticker, rolls of sticker paper as well, so that should be fun. Um, what else? I have my beach body on demand so that uh, over in that little space over there, I can do some workouts. You might see me do some of those to pass the time. Uh, we have a five day uh, pre-course packet that uh, we can do as well to pass the time so yeah I think this next video when this goes up it's just gonna be kind of odds and sods and how I uh, how I pass my time in I say isolation it is March 2022 my guess is because all the all the provinces are lifting masking mandates and for most like interprovincial travel there is no isolation required so it's just kind of the military this course it takes a long time for the military to get up to speed with things so i think if the course started like one week later than it does we wouldn't have had to isolate, but 
It's been crazy busy at work. I had to cancel my my March break plans um, so that I can come on this course. So I could really use a few days of break before I get like right into this course. It's a, a leadership and instructional course. Yeah. So that's it for right now. I am exhausted. I don't know if you can tell. I'm having a hard time keeping my my eyes open and it is it's only nine o'clock here. So it's like eight o'clock at home. But I've been up since five and drive it was a two hour drive and then two hours at the airport and three hour flights and oh yeah, as soon as we got here start unpacking fire alarm goes off um i'll add a picture or get my uh my edit team <laughs> put throw in my picture of me and the uh, with the building and the fire trucks behind so that was kind of eventful um yeah but i think i am gonna go maybe have a shower and just kind of relax before bed so I will see you in a little bit and we'll continue with isolation tabs. Good morning. Uh, so I just came back from the galley. So we're I'm here on a Navy base in Halifax. Um, and I just picked up my breakfast. I've never been at a Canadian Navy base. I, I just figured this out. And holy crap. Their galley, their mess kitchen. Nicer than any Air Force or Army one I've been at. So let's go through breakfast. So I uh, have coffee and I grabbed a bunch of extra cups so I can make my own coffee later cut root packet some fruit punch lids for the coffee cups Some syrup, salt, pepper, sugar, butter. And for breakfast, I've got a ginormous pancake, some bacon, and two hard boiled eggs. So, so far it doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, tested negative this morning. Like I said, I know most places are like COVID testing and masking is not a thing anymore, but military has its own rules and so we smile, nod, play the game. But tested negative, all good. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Cheers. All right, so it's lunchtime. Uh, got another juice. And got some grilled ham and cheese. A little bit of sweet potato fries. 
some cheddar broccoli soup and some apple crumble, apple crisp. I know the Navy is known for their soups. So there's generally soup available every day. Today we've got broccoli and cheese. Not bad, it's pretty good. Check in with you later. Hey guys, I just picked up my dinner. Uh, so this is dinner day one. It smells great. I'm just not kind of, not really hungry at the moment. Um, but it does smell good. So let's just move this down so you can see what I got here. I've got a nice salad. It's got like some pecans and dried cranberries, lots of different veggies, a couple cubes of cheese, and it looks like a broccoli cheese and bacon salad. Um, got some French dressing to go with it. Some chocolate milk, and some 2% milk. And then the main dish here, we've got some meat pie, torchair with gravy, some couscous and peas. So like I said, I'm not really hungry right now, but I think I'll leave this for a little later. Thankfully, I have a microwave so I can eat it back up. Um, but I forgot yesterday when I was giving you the tour around the room, it was dark out and late. So let's go, I'll give you a, sh a little peek on my, my view. So I locked out and I have a gorgeous view of the water. Pack rats here. Um, and some ships. Uh, I don't see the names of any of the ships, but, uh, yeah, it's still interesting to see and nice to, quite a nice view. The moon's out over there. I lucked out because the guys on the other side of the hallway, they get a view of rooftops and parking lots. So I really can't complain. Uh, it's been a pretty, pretty boring day. Um, I've done some reading uh, for my course. I had a nap. Uh, I guess I am a little bit jet lagged. I've had a nap or a headache all day. So I'm just gonna kind of chill. Uh, tomorrow, who knows? Later. Good morning, it's day two. Uh, instead of grabbing a pre-made breakfast, uh, like the hot breakfast, I decided to do a workout. I did P90X3, CVX, just in the little, that little area there in front of the window. Uh, no equipment needed and doesn't take up much space. And then I grabbed some of my protein shake cereal bars, added some milk, my, my milk from uh, last night's dinner, I'd had it in the fridge. It's not rehydrating totally, but meh, it's still good. Mm. And the coffee I had yesterday with yesterday's breakfast. <laughs> it's just my tablet. Um, oh my God, it was gross. It was undrinkable. So I am glad that I brought, I brought some Folgers. Uh, it's a French vanilla blend. And I had freeze dried some Coffee Mate. And I have this 
and just this Jogo straw. J O G O. So Joe on the go, right? Uh, cup of water. I literally pour the coffee grounds in and um, added some of the uh, the powdered coffee meat. It has this little filter on here, so you just drink it through the straw, and you don't get any grounds or anything. So you can see there's like grounds and and whatnot in there. So it's great for traveling, great if you're on the go. Um, you know, cup of hot water, tablespoon of coffee, and there you go. Um, it's a very foggy morning today. Uh, we'll not see across the water. And then it looks like snow has started. It's quite blowing quite hard. But yeah. So on the schedule today, I think, you know, same, pretty much the same as yesterday. Uh, I go through some of the course material, free course material, and just kind of hang out and chill. Um, had to cancel my vacation before I came on course, so <laughs> this room is kind of my vacation. So, small chill, downtime, regroup before I get into my course. So, I will guess I, I'll get at it, have a shower, because just did my workout. Um, yeah, and we'll see you at lunch. All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Apple juice box, fruit punch. Chips and salsa. And for the main, I have a chicken fajita some baby red potatoes, and some mixed veg. So, you know, doesn't seem too bad. Later. All right, taking a break from uh, going over some course material and it's dinner time. See what we got. Juice. Some balsamic vinaigrette and a chef salad. Looks like some quinoa salad and some cheese, bits of cheese. Apparently some of the guys when they opened their, uh, their salad it had the uh, nachos and salsa from lunch. And those nachos were really, really stale. And for dinner, we've got uh, pork and broccoli and some carrots. There was rice, but I just, I just didn't feel like the rice. So again, doesn't look too bad, especially compared to some of the other people's isolation that I've seen where it was like literally frozen TV dinners or just, you know, sandwiches. So yeah, bon appetit. Hey, good morning. We're on day three. Um, it's not so foggy out. Even from my desk, you can see all the way across the river. It's still dark. Let's see the Got some lime yogurt. Okay. 
fruit punch. And then we've got French toast, an egg over easy, and some bacon. Again, can't complain. Um, yeah. So I am going to eat my breakfast and get on with my day. All right, I'm back for another isolation day, day three. I think I put day two this morning. It's day three. Uh, what's for lunch? Two chocolate milks. Another salad, vinaigrette, cheese and quinoa. And for the main, Oktoberfest sausages, sauerkraut, German potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. I actually don't mind Brussels sprouts, usually when they're cooked with bacon. These ones are not, but that's okay. Like I said, still much better than some isolation, other isolation meals I've seen from others, so can't complain. Got some mustard to go in my sausages. Time to eat. All right, here is supper number three. Picked up some extra cups for making my coffee. Go with a veggie tray. This is the day a lot of people in the military at mess, um, galley, kitchen, whatever you want to call it, look forward to steak night. So I've got a steak and it seems to actually be cooked uh, rare, which is what I like. We'll be keeping a spoonful of mushrooms and onions, a potato and some broccoli. Um, they didn't have any sour cream for my potato, but I have some butter here from my pancakes the other day. So it looks pretty good. And first time, I've got a dessert. It looks like a coconut cream pie. Coconut's not my favorite, but I'll give it a try. So yeah, bon appetit. Good morning again. It is day four. I've got a day and a bit left of isolation and I went down and grabbed breakfast. So I've got, they gave me two juices this morning. Um, the bananas, they're a little on the green side still, so they should be good tomorrow, hopefully. They had strawberries. I'm so happy they had fruit beside oranges. I'm not really a fan of oranges, but I've been missing fruit. Mm. Those are actually really good. And you know, cutlery, salt, pepper, bake. And for main for breakfast, I think they switched mine with somebody else. Uh, I was with another guy getting breakfast and he asked for two eggs over easy. And I asked for one. Um, yeah, I got two over easy 
pancake and bacon. I think he got my one. Oh well. So I'm actually going to make kind of a open face sandwich dealy with pancake, bacon, I guess eggs, plural, and I saved a little bit of my steak, onion, and mushrooms from last night. So that's going to be a whole steak and egg sandwich thingy. Wasn't going to grab breakfast this morning because I've been feeling rather full. It's been a lot of food um, and I haven't really been doing much because we're not really supposed to leave our rooms except for smoke breaks and grabbing meals. So yeah, it's been a lot of sitting, but glad I did because I got strawberries and bananas and it's a good breakfast. I might skip lunch. We'll see. Later. All right, lunch number four, it is Friday. And if you've ever been to the East Coast, you know what that means. But first, two cutie oranges, some homemade cookies. They've had uh, store-bought cookies like Oreos and Fig Newtons and different stuff, but I just haven't been getting them. But if you've ever been to the East Coast, been to the Navy, anything Navy, Friday is fish day, right? Seafood. So we have, they called it wonderful clam chowder. It smells really fishy. I'm not from the coast. I had a great seafood chowder before I got here or before we came to isolation. That one looks more green. I've never seen a green before. Oop. Two blocks of cheese and fish and chips. And of course, ketchup and vinegar. But yeah, let's check out this, this clam chowder. On the board it said wonderful clam chowder so like i said it's on the green side usually it's at least the clam chowder i usually have it's like really white maybe yellowish because there's some corn in it too but here it goes pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna continue on with my lunch. See you at dinner. All right, day four supper. We've got juice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ranch dressing. for some veggie sticks and an egg. And got shepherd's pie with gravy and cauliflower. Again, you know, not not horrible, not not gourmet, but uh, yeah, can't complain. I'm gonna have some dinner and check out some more coursework. See you in the morning. All right, here we go. Breakfast number five.
apple juice and a pear. Pancake, bacon, and fried egg. And another apple juice. So what I've been doing with these, when I get, <laughs> what I've been doing with breakfast, so I've got my pancake, some syrup, First, I put on some bacon, break it up. Did this the other day when I had, uh, yesterday morning, when I had leftover steak. Oh God. Pour some syrup over the bacon and pancake. These little things come with a lot, actually. And then put ooh, fried egg on top, just like that. And grab fork and knife. Cut open, pop the uh, sunny side egg to get it all drippy all over. Mm. That's a way to have pancake, bacon, and eggs. All right, it is lunch number four, no, five. Last day of isolation, last lunch in isolation. And to start, I've got cream of carrot soup. Mm, it smells pretty good. Let me give it a quick taste. Mmm, that's really good. The Navy really likes, it's really good on their soups. They gave me two containers of veggies. Good for snacking later. And then chicken wings. Mmm, it's not really good. Mmm. Those are some good wings. So yeah, last lunch in isolation. After isolation, we're moving to our course location. And uh, unfortunately, the, the mess, the galley, the kitchen is closed there. So we will be on what they call hay boxes and box lunches for all our meals. So they're being trucked in from a base 50 kilometers away. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I have a feeling I might be digging into my freeze dried stash for that. But all in all, I can't complain. It's It's been tasting pretty good and, you know, fairly nutritious. and. So, like we said, no five-star gourmet, but it, it's definitely a lot better than it could be. All right, so we're at dinner number five, last night in isolation. Uh, cutlery, I got chocolate milk this time. Barbecue sauce. And we've got a, woo! Barbecue chicken breasts, 
uh, roasted red potatoes, and some broccoli and cauliflower. Again, nothing special. It smells pretty good. See how this chicken is. Mm. Put the fork in and just like juiced out. So normally, uh, you know, mount galley mess food chicken is very dry. Mm. Not bad, still a little bit juicy, but just on that edge of drying out in the middle, like when they keep it in steam trays for a long time, it can be like submerged in fluid and sauce or, or whatever, but you still cut into it as dry. It's not quite there yet, so it's still a little bit juicy, just the edge of dry, but tasty. So tomorrow is the last breakfast in isolation. And then we head to our course location and we're on box lunches and hay boxes. So we'll see how that goes. See you tomorrow. All right, good morning. It is morning number six. We are moving today to our actual course location. So it's the last breakfast here. Uh, isolation is done. Not that I can go anywhere, but. So for breakfast, I've got some cheese, some watermelon, key lime yogurt, and then my kind of usual that I've been having here, uh, bacon, egg over easy, and a pancake. And I kind of, well, just a minute, I'll pause and do this all up and you can see what I do. It is so good. All right, so here it is. So it's my pancake, and I break up the bacon, and then broke up the cheese, and then broke up the egg, so you get sweet and salty, crunchy and creamy. It is just like, mm. So you've got the creamy egg and the creamy cheese, the salty bacon, the fluffy pancake. Look at all the flavors in one bite. Very good. Um, yeah, so I will see you when we get to actually, we'll just cut it here. This is, as I said, isolation is over. Mm. Retake. So yeah, isolation is over. Um, not sure what the next video will be. It depends on how things are going on course and what I can actually video and, and that kind of thing. So see you next time. Because why not? <laughs>